One of the things that it does is, is impact uh, HMG-CoA reductase. Now, you may remember, or that may sound familiar. Well, guess what? The statins are HMGA, uh, HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. I'm going to do a couple of quick videos on Gymnema sylvestre. The, the term, the name for this supplement, actually comes from a Hindi word, meaning the sugar destroyer. So guess what this is used for? Uh, and guess the part of the world that it comes from. It's, uh, you see it in Africa, India, and India especially. It's also known as the Australian cow plant. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of videos on it, and um, the first one basically is just the basics. The second video will go into a little bit more of the biochemistry. So, let's do it. Here we go. Uh, Gymnema sylvestre, controlling uh, sugar craving. What is it? What's it used for? And does it work? Uh, here's a picture of it. Again, it's... Um, got several names to it, one of them being the uh, Australian cow plant, cow as in moo. It's a woody vine, it's a climber, and it's used for specifically for controlling sugar craving. Here's what's interesting about this, uh, about this supplement. When you look at the, uh, it, it does decrease your ability to taste sweetness, and when you look at the uh, atomic configuration, the molecular configuration, it does. It has some uh, hand-in-glove shape where it will actually cover the, uh, sweet, the sweet taste buds, the taste buds that uh, taste sweetness on the tongue. It's uh, been seen not only in humans but in laboratory animals as well. Again, uh, India, Sri Lanka, West Africa, also known as the Australian cow plant. The, herb, the herb itself is a crushed leaf. The fruit, there's a fruit with it as well. It's called miracle fruit. It's best known for suppressing sweet sensations on the tongue. There's an active ingredient called germarin, also known as germar, and it's a, a climbing vine. Ayurvedic and post uh, folk medicine uses diabetes. It lowers, uh, they think it lowers blood sugar. And again, I mentioned the name, uh, weight loss and laxative or diuretic. Now this may look complicated enough in terms of the molecular structure of this chemical, but actually it's a simplified version. The, um, we'll get a little bit deeper into the uh, actual uh, molecular structures in the next video. This is just one of many. There are actually several different groups included in this, uh, in the Gymnema sylvestre or uh, Kermars. Is that the name? Germars, excuse me. This is a typical article. When you look these up in the academic articles, basically what you get is not a whole lot of uh, clinical trials. So I wouldn't stand this up against metformin. I wouldn't stand it up against several other drugs that have had clinical trials. Basically what you see here is descriptive type of research. And this one, by the way, is in um, way back in 07. One of the more recent ones I was able to find was still a couple of years ago, 2017, 2018. And again, it, well, again, we'll cover that in the second video. These are not, uh, these are mostly descriptive type of articles. Now, mechanisms. It blocks the blood, blood sweet, the sweet and sh uh, sugar receptors on the tongue. Uh, it blocks intestinal sugar receptors. There's a 35 amino acid peptide called germarin. It results, also appears to result in increased insulin secretion and even maybe islet cell regeneration. Now, if you don't know, if you're saying, what's islet cell? Uh, the islets of Langerhans, the big medical term. Basically, those are the cells that produce and secrete insulin. Now, with every, everything, you need to check a look, 
uh, check and take a look at the um, safety and potential side effects. With almost all um, supplements, they are they do tend to be relatively safe. If they weren't, uh, the there would have been some laws uh, regulating utilization, like there are laws regulating utilization for things like alcohol, which can blind you if you just make alcohol and uh, try to take it because of the methanol in it. And al ethyl alcohol in itself causes a bunch of other problems. Other medications as well. Now you can't completely depend on that. Many of us would say, you know what, if the um, FDA were approving uh, some of the supplements like aspirin today, they might not say that aspirin is over the counter. Uh, likewise, metformin is another good example. If they were to review, if the FDA were actually to review metformin again right now, they might actually make it over the counter. Anyway, that's a digression, but the point is, yes, the uh, Gymnema silvestri, like the other over-the-counters, tends to be safe. There are some issues. Reported hypoglycemia, but again, uh, I don't think that's very... I clearly didn't find much in it in terms of research. What they would say is especially with other meds. So, for example, if you're taking a ton of uh, glucose-related medications and supplements, they pile up. Uh, it can cause... Uh, it because it's a laxative effect, a diuretic effect, which means that it makes you pee. And there may be some challenges with pregnancy, like there is with almost any substance. There's also a, a fairly weak signal in the research community about liver toxicity. Now, this is the article that I'm going to cover next. I'm going to devote a whole, a whole video to it. And it gets into phytochemical and pharmacological uh, properties. Phyto meaning plant chemicals. So it talks a little bit more about the chemicals in the uh, Gymnema sylvestre plant. One of the things that it does is, is impact uh, HMG-CoA reductase. Now, you may remember, or that may sound familiar. Well, guess what? The statins are HMG-CoA uh, HMG reductase inhibitors. But that's, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's for the next video. If you've made it through this one, I just wanted to do a quick who, what, why, where, what is Gymnema. Thank you very much for your interest. By the way, if you're interested, check out our website. We're going to have an event at University of Louisville Conference Center uh, where you can get your uh, CIMT and all your labs. And we'll have a two-day boot camp experience going over all of that.